Hello and welcome back to another episode. I am Robbie of the McFly Variety and uh, we're back in Appaloosa Plains. I almost said Appletown. <laughs> um, it's been a while. Apparently it's been since, I think it said uh, 618. That was insane. That's, I, I can't believe it's been that long since I've been back here. Um, I remember everything I did though. I think our interchange here looks really good. It works very well. Um, thankfully, the uh, bobbing and weaving here is not too excessive just yet. But we'll you know, come to that whenever we have to. It might end up being we have a nice, uh, what do you call those? Like a, a semi pinwheel, some kind of some kind of weird clover name. But uh, there's a lot of ideas on how to fix some of this stuff. We might end up adding some more lanes here somehow. Uh, we'll, we'll figure all that part out. But what I do know is that we have got to focus on this industry demand. I remember that being like the big deal from last time. And honestly, it's kind of kept me away from the city. I I don't know what I what how I'm gonna do this without like with all the things I have in place. Like I don't want it in here because of this you know nature nature reserve. But I can't put another industry right here because that's just too close to this industry and. It's just, it'd be way too, like, especially with those, those are already kind of close as it is, right? So, I think I'm going to have to, um, just accept that this is where it's got to go. But I think we can definitely do something very fun with it. Hold on. It's a little bit more manageable that way, hopefully. Um, so what we're going to start with, I think, is going to be creating the interchange that would that will work here right and circle map main man <sighs> we'll go over that news later all right so start with here i'm gonna kind of pull this back a little bit too right we want i think i'm thinking one clover leaf here one clover leaf here Right. So let's yeah, let's just get to it. Now, things that I'm thinking about with this, of course, you know, we want immediate connection to the industry area. I definitely want to do my best to keep as much of this suburban feel as possible. Though I know in some ways that's not going to be possible. We might have to do something with this stretch of road here, and that'll have to be less suburban feeling. It kind of already is. It's already kind of a um, access road for some utility, uh, and it would kind of make sense that you know if someone came from here and needed to get over into this space, they could go around like that. But I definitely hope that I can utilize this the best. Um, and it may not even be a problem. We might be able to leave that alone completely and not even think twice about it. I'm kind of hopeful for that option. So, let's grab our dirt roads. We're going to come in here. That looks like a good spot to me. Which means we should probably take back some more trees, right? And... Take her right there. And right... Well, that's not what I wanted. Is... What if I take that off? Yeah, there we go. That's the trick. And... Alright, I think I may have just learned something new. And take this directly in. I think that's a nice distance from here to the point where it does all this and plus yeah that's kind of perfect honestly all right oh they've already started all right and then we'll take this piece off and go straight into right here i think that's a good place to just go ahead and do it all right um i want to straighten out my roads first oh well, oh, that wasn't the goal. I'm okay with that. 
And then the second one will be here. Now, interestingly, this one's already got that spot, so let's just take this. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to get rid of that node. Now, I did... Oh. I, I did do a... Shift A. It was shift. So I want shift S. What did I do to remove? Yeah, shift S. There we go. I... We'll, we'll master those one day. Now, should take it directly in. I thought we already... Oh. I'm going to take this one directly in. Cool. Alright. Looks good. And last things last, I uh, just get our here they are. We're gonna use our asymm asymmetrical roads on the ground, and then we'll take our one lane roads, one lane highways, directly in like this. Same thing, same thing, and our asymmetrical highway there. Now can I remove this? Yes. Because I don't really like the extra node there. And then just fix up... There we go. And square it off. Yeah, those should look good by the time they get their... their lane markings. Pull that in. Alright. And just real quick, uh, lane markings. Now, I actually really enjoy the uh, new updates. Um, if you if you watched my last video with the map creation uh, project protection, the the way it like it, it's it's more clever now, and I just re I really appreciate everything they did with with the uh, the mod. So shout out to mod creators in general this game would be nothing without mods uh, I really do believe that it makes the game all right pull that in right there and there we go all right um the last bit we we'll want to take care of is this oh that right there and that right there all right oh Yep, slope just helps. Alright, I'll put in some basic line markings and see you guys in a second. <laughs> Alright, and with our basic lines put into place, let's, uh, let's get a basic outline of what we want this industrial area to be. Now, something I definitely enjoy, like, prefer to do with my industrial areas, well, one, I guess, bring the road down to height, but two, I, I really like to put extra things in there, I'm sure we can tell, such as our helicopter depots and our garbage stations, um, and, of course, power and the, the other basics, you know, of industrial areas. But I like to put things like crematoriums. Um, also, and, oh boy, maybe we can, I, well, yeah, we'll come back to that, that's fine, it's fine for now, it kind of just does a heartbeat of, <laughs> of nonsense, now, okay, stop dancing around, let's look at this, we have our height map here, this is actually decently flat, and that goes to about this height, so let's say, let's take this here, I actually want to use that, I 
and maybe we kind of put like a service road that kind of feeds down here. I think that makes sense. We'll go ahead and do so. Bring her down. Good boy. Let's say we take it here to here, right? Tab it in and take her out. Let's put her about 40. Looks good to me. There we go. Bring it out. Just for my own sanity, I'm thinking here to here. Yeah, I'm happy I did that. Okay. And then we can soften up our terrain a bit. harsh line for something we could just take okay let's say I do this right and I decide to take this here hey it's kind of exactly what I wanted okay pull this here Actually, let's grab our industrial roads. Yeah. That looks good. Maybe... There we go. Bring this down. you don't click anything it just disappears pull that in cool all right now we got one u2 two lane one way one u2 way let me just what is this oh I like that road let's just go get the regular Let's go get the regular industrial road. I'm gonna do a little bit. Now, let's do something like this. Pull it in. Just like that. You can even just take that straight up there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Probably wanna give this a little bit of turning radius though. It's a bit much. Still a bit much. That's better. Okay. We'll take this one just straight out. Right in there, looks good to me. For the intrigue, take that one there. And bring this back out again. Now I was actually kind of thinking, what is this one U? Eh. But I am thinking just the two lane. Very simple. Oh. Why did it let me do... I'm not going to question it. Alright, then maybe even with this coming to here, this did feed into the highway originally. Maybe I can go ahead and make that connection too. 
just to make sure this entire space stays connected. So, and that's bikes also. Maybe that could be the bike infrastructure that actually makes a lot of sense to me. So, let's say we grab this bike lane. Alright. Take that up. Just like that. Yeah, I like it. There we go. Oh, and then stretch. Will stretch work here? Works well enough in my opinion. Yep, okay. Let's get some water pipes. Okay, turn all that, yeah, there we go. Alright, we'll stop that there. Bring this down. And out. And maybe even... Pull that over. Cool. Alright. Now, <clears throat> things that I think are important to put here. One. Wait, what is this? Small biogas facility. Sludge is left to rot in this facility, producing gas, which, which is then transformed into electricity. Interesting looking building. I kind of remember getting this now. This seems like something that you'd put in the farming industry, but that is not something you put in the farming industry. Do I put a larger recycling center because of the immediate connection? It makes sense to me. So, let's say we put... Hmm. Yeah, we'll put this right there. Okay. Start with that. Put in a... Did I download another... Small elderly home. I feel like I saw a new crematorium that it really did catch my interest. Or was it this? Because I did get these. Prior, this looks like something that belongs inside the city, though. So we'll stick with this. Now, where's a good... Looks good to me right there. Alright. Uh, we already have plenty of sewage, plenty of water. We have electricity. We have electricity, right? We have plenty of electricity. Um, what's another good building that would make sense around here? Taxi, taxi depot? And in hyper industrial area, maybe not a taxi depot. Um, maybe we can just get a warehouse. This, I could see this being like a space where it would have something like, that's a bit too big. That one's definitely too big. Uh... Yeah, we'll put that down, and then we'll turn it into commercial goods. Uh, we're going to fill it with commercial goods, all right? Because I want people to, I want them to, to bring them in. Hopefully, they'll use that. Now, with this in mind, too, this space says no heavy traffic, right? Heavy traffic ban. So, I think we should take this back from here. Take it back from here. Go ahead and put in a new... My goodness, my brain just died. District. Make sure that this district keeps... Because part of the purpose is to keep heavy traffic off of this road too. Though that may not be able to stick, we'll see what happens. And then we'll even pull that back right there. But we'll have it come up right here. Uh, 
right in there. Now, policies. We want to make sure that we have filtered industrial waste. We do like a workers union, it keeps people happy. Uh, we're not smart enough for Industry 4.0 yet, but let's go ahead and do electric cars and combustion engine ban. Um, only the people that have to go there will go there. I don't think this affects... Please note that this policy takes some time to have effect. Citizens with combustion engine vehicles will avoid the policy area, but if they have to, a destination within the area, they will travel to it. Maybe get rid of that so that we don't mess up the highway. Um, Old Town? No, I want everybody using this. Uh, I don't think I need to put a high-rise ban in. And maybe industrial. Doubles the amount of goods produced by zone industry. It costs per building. But I think that we have the ability to do that. We kind of need it, really. Um, and... Well, maybe put a few offices, like, dotted to see what happens there, but of course recycle plastics, uh, smoking ban and recycling, and I think that's good for now. Now with the area being this far off from the tram, I might need to do some kind of bus that would like just hit this spot, come out here a little bit and come back, and maybe I can do something like all the way down here, like bring the bus up here take it around put it back through there just just a circle circle pattern right there to bring people to the trams to go back and forth that might be an important detail um looking at the tram here this might become a bike and tram corridor kind of deal we'll see how that turns itself out eventually maybe i'll even just take that right up against it it'll be the, the thing in between there but the focus right now is going to be this industrial space. Let's go ahead and put down just a few of these. Let's see here, that those two, those two, and that right there. All right. Now I don't want to just flood this space. I think it'd be smarter to kind of thoughtfully place these industri industry buildings, industrial buildings, and in industry buildings, industrial buildings, some kind of wording that means a building that provides industry, uh, and <laughs> see what comes out of it this way, um, I definitely don't want this to be the, a main factor, but it's so necessary, it's becoming difficult to keep up with industry otherwise, uh, Yeah. You know, take that off of there a little bit and bring it out to here. Yep. Just like that. And... Let's see what builds. Uh, it has immediate electrical issues. Of course it does. So... Yeah, we'll just... Uh, New version. Underwater. There's that. And then here's this. Alright. While we're waiting on that, we'll go ahead and put our giveaway signs in. This grew fast. Okay. Hasn't caused any traffic issues. Definitely depleted a lot of that industry need. But I like where it's at already. So, didn't really place anything there. So let's go ahead and get some nice trees in. Definitely want to fill up a lot of these spaces with their trees. A 
This might be a good spot for something. What's the... It's not too bad. Something like right here. Did I put the... No, I we did the giant recycling center. That's right. And then that's going to be an empty space, isn't it? Okay. So what do I have that can fit in there? Besides another... Do I need another? Or could we put a police one? Well, no, the police one sits sideways, doesn't it? Yes. Um, this one also sits sideways. But this one's also too big anyway. All right. Now... What if we did, like, that? Do they consider themselves better covered now? Do you have a fire station right there? Firehouse, not a station. So do I upgrade this to a station? It gets rid of a little bit of the suburban feel, but I think it's worth it. Right there. That makes them happy. They can actually handle industrial fires now. Bring in some of our trees. Why is that? They shouldn't be going through there, but it doesn't seem like it's so bad that it's causing, like... Yeah, I don't think it's bad enough. And I did think about something. I have this giant space somewhere in here that I'm just letting go. First of all, this should definitely be residential. That's kind of the main road there, so yeah, this should definitely be residential. I don't remember exactly what made me think of it, but I remember just having the random thought like, Oh, wait, I have this giant space here, and I'm using it for, like, this. When I could put a full park in, or I could put a bigger school in, because I have options. Like, there's this, right? We have these big, beautiful... That's an elementary school. High school. We have these big, beautiful schools. All suburban-themed and everything, too. And I got that high school. Like, let's, let's use some of this. So let's say we put that there. It sits pretty decently, but we can make that a little bit better. Turn off that. Right? So there's that. And then, why are you guys... I also realized that I have avenue roads. Um, first of all, ground. Let's say, I need about two and four, really. So I guess maybe two and three would be good. That's five and three. This is gonna be way too much, isn't it? It actually kinda makes sense for the location it's in. Now, it doesn't make sense the opposite direction. So, do I have a 4 and 3? That's, that's interesting. Okay. It's just 2 and 4. Right? And then, with this, we can use... There we go. Straight on. Yeah, it's worth it. It really got rid of all that, didn't it? Alright. And I can use a lot of lane markings to make this look a lot nicer. So let's... Say I did something like... No, that's too much. Or do I upgrade that to like some kind of... Not as big, of course. Do I have a... Well, dang. Maybe I won't worry about the bike path part as much. 
maybe it'll be okay to worry about the bike bike lane power. Yeah, that looks nice. Go ahead and replace that. Yeah, that's good. And now that I know that I have this extra node here, delete that. Alright. Correct a bunch of this. And this feels like it's a probably about to be intersect intersection marking tool is what I was gonna say. Let's turn all of these off. I think you can even turn this one off and we're gonna blow it up to a nice 25. If you can't see the lanes, they don't actually use them. Alright. Oh. And square. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with the, th the obvious ones, right? So, you got this here. It's a little bit too hard lined. Not much else I can do there, right? Because like that's where it's supposed to be. Took my All right, and pull this one into here. And that right there. Chevron it. For the sake of chevroning it. Oh, and then. Pavement. I'm kind of okay with that. We might end up expanding a 4U road down this way. Now this one, of course we're going to double solid line it and take our lines forward. That's really all we need to do. Um, don't even really need to do the end pieces, right? Just, those should be obvious. This is a parking road. No parking. Alright, yeah. I don't want parking. Do you want the bike lanes? Don't want the parking. And we'll pull... That right there. Right there. Cool. should have the ability yeah I'm gonna leave that go all right um and something I didn't think about was crosswalks but crosswalks definitely are more important on this side so let's say to there and cut them cool and anything else is really just kind of overthinking it I think I think about overthinking <laughs> seems like a silly phrase Let's go ahead and you can... Mm. I know we're going to turn off that there.
Hmm. Let those be for a while. And then our last one here will be taking that straight on, turning this in, doing that. Because uh, I'm mostly worried about the highway knowing to do its thing correctly. And then we can pull this one out. Because these industries need to make sure they understand where they're going with stuff. And pull that one in. Now that's not lined up, right? Do that. Right? Pull this one out. And then do this one. Although that one's kind of lining up very nicely, so I'm going to let it be. Alright. Don't believe we need any further intervention besides this that clearly just started happening. So let's say that there, there. That there, there, and there. and see what that produces so so far that's kind of working better as it is I wish I still could find a uh, highway piece that's four and two I maybe that's something someone uh, uh, what nah maybe that's something we can have like this comes out and gets right there and it only feeds in and out and it connects to the uh, well when we get to it, when we get to it, calm down. Um, how's this doing? We have industry need again. And that's backing up. Something I forgot to do. Is that. Is that helping them move along? It is. Let's go ahead and make sure it's on here. I'm not sure why these even have cross. Well, no, never mind. I take that back. I know why they have crossing capabilities. And that's kind of a hard turn. So let's blow her up a little bit. Good. Oop. Never enough industry for this city, huh? And speaking of which, actually... Let's see here. 11.29% of your income comes from zoned industries. Um, where's the thing that tells me... How much we're buying, how much we're purchasing. Or am I looking at... Imported. Importing a lot of forest products, but that's because of the... Unfortunately, because of the... Uh, issue with this tree mod. So unfortunate. We are exporting a good bit of it. And this is actually showing exporting regular goods instead of importing goods. Interesting. So, now that we've taken care of those two things, what do we have that we can do here? So, first of all, that's a parking road, right? So I guess let's start by giving them actual industry roads. I know we have it right here. So, we'll give them that. Start there. They have their three, but they have... What if...
We'll pause that up before they get any clever ideas. I just want to bring shift it. And bring that down. Definitely an interesting concept. We'll see it. it, it we'll, I just want to see what it does. It's kind of testing. Because there's not a million and one ideas that I can do here. So it'll entirely depend on how this really does react. And with that, we can also. I want to do a two. Where are they at? Where are they at? Here we go. Um, and some simple lane markings. No. but not least do not turn that way good okay what is this gonna do for us oh and I want to put in that it's the only direction I don't want auto feeding in Okay, the handled an almost really not non-existent issue that was already there, but I'm happy still got done. Um, I have some new roads back here. I want to see. I want to look into them, play with them for a second. Cause this one seems interesting. This is just it's, it's just the same road, just looks different, doesn't it? How much do I want? How much do I not want parking there, really? Um. Do I have parking with trees? I have bikes and trees, so I don't have parking in trees. Okay, no. Hmm. You'd think. I'll let them keep their parking there. Maybe that's not the one I keep parking at, though. So, here I am being indecisive. But that just makes sense to me. Now these guys, they're getting off here. Actually, let's let's take a look at this. Uh, this one. So yeah, they're coming off here. They're coming off here too, but they're backing up just trying to get there. I don't really want an exit here, but then again, I could just right there. And that's not correct. So, an exit right there. So they're back in this. Oh!
Quit backing this all up. Okay, so if I ask where does this road go? We'll just try and get there. Pause. Start from the front. Alright. There we go. Just try and get over here. Getting out. Getting out. Getting out. Going somewhere over here. Going out. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> going out. Hmm. connection there. Is it possible they just really need to... Oh! Well, that's also an issue. So do I have a three-in-one? So really... Uh, so this is... Oh, there's only the two. So what happens if I just do that? Say, say that. Okay. Do they have an easier time getting out then? What are you stopping for? I'm not used to my button being over here now. Just move forward and don't cross here. Okay. I don't want them doing that though. I think if anything, I'm, I'm gonna have to move these back. Let's. What is it? Alt S? Yes. So. Only act like that. These guys having to go through all this is problematic for themselves. Um. These guys aren't really getting any better. Do I have this in one way? What roads do I have? Maybe that's a problem. There we go. Okay, so one way that way. Alright, how are you guys doing here? Don't I have... Nah, trams coming off is not going to be that big of a save, but I do have... <coughs> this. Okay, that helped them move up a little bit. Why are these guys here? I don't understand this one. Interesting. Might force this into a one way, see what that does. Um just the grass line actually let's go ahead. 
What does this do? If I do that to you, oh wait. Kind of creates a roundabout future. Hmm. And I th you know what? I'm also kind of avoiding upgrading this road too, aren't I? It's kind of a backbone, really. And Give them all some kind of dedicated lane work. But not the ability to rush through. You don't even have the ability to... The party button, as some might call it. I'm not sure that's important enough to be granted. We did that. Where exactly are these tri guys trying to go? into the farm. What happens if I just take that off altogether? Is this a spot for a roundabout actually? Would this be the first roundabout of the city? Maybe that's the answer. Okay, so what do we have here? Commercial? Buy. And a fire station? Um. Okay, can we just replace this entirely to a new spot? That would be more realistic in concept. Like, say we changed that out for an actual station. But we rebuilt our fire station down here. There's already a firehouse there. There's a fire station here, firehouse there. Um, let's do that and then delete this. That makes sense to me. All right, now we need one more lane than what we have here. This is with bikes, but I don't think I I don't think we need bikes. Let's do a regular three lane here and take it down. Now. That looks like a good size to me. Okay. Square it off. 12 seems good. Square it off. And square it off. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go at our lines real quick. Which seems a little bit backwards. You'd think you'd want to watch it work first. In fact, actually, as I say that... Looks good. And we're going to take this in. Oh, we want. Do you want our right lane taking rights? Do you want our right lane? Right. Hmm.
And this is what I mean by it's smarter nowadays. I really, really like that. Like when I do this, it auto it auto places it according to what it's used what it already sees. It didn't do it. It didn't do the thing that I said it did. I was so happy about the things that it did, and then it didn't do the thing. I don't understand why. I, I can't even reason that one. Like, what it was doing was reading the amount of lane markings it could move, and then allocating it appropriately. I don't understand what happened. And there I am, overlooking it, and watching all these cars just driving over the lanes, being like, yeah, this looks great, and it doesn't look great. Why'd I do that? Why... Why did I do that? Now this one, it doesn't know how to place. So we're gonna do that. And I think it did a pretty good job with the knowledge it has. So I'm gonna let that be. Close that, of course. And hit play. What does it do? Alright. Eat the traffic, please. That's right. We want to take that off. I don't want them doing that. That was my main concern. It doesn't look good. Maybe we can... Use just a prettier road, just for the entrance. That way, oh. There we go. It's a lot of cows murring. And then go back in here and turn this off again. Cool. And then give them the right to jump through there. Turn off that. And did that eat the traffic like I wanted? It did. It absolutely did. I did it eat it this direction. I'm not sure how possible it is for it to eat this direction. But, also... doesn't have the extra lanes like I like it I would like for it to have so come back here again oh my goodness give that those lanes that it really deserves there all right so this has its three lanes that it really needs. This has all been upgraded the way it should have been in the first place. And they can just feed out there, thankfully. Hmm. This might get a special... Yeah, yeah it think it needs it so let's say turn off those we can build our own right and then the only way I want them to be able to go is gonna be no crossings so let's say we did that and even came in here and did this yeah and then I'm gonna give them specific instructions to only go like that and they can turn in there and with that we can also give them right to push on through they can they can party button it up Uh, just because I see it and I want it. There we go. Yeah. The bypass. Okay. That's cleaned all of that up. And I didn't have to add in a whole extra interchange. 
That makes me very happy. This doing? How's this over here doing? Let's let's stop for a second. Just let that sit. That's still doing good. This interchange is still doing good. This intersection is doing beautifully. Why? Yeah, this looks great. Is there any other major traffic that we should be looking at right here? Uh, they just don't have parking, but I don't want them to have parking, so that's okay. <coughs> that's 77. Could I help them out, or do they even need it, really? If they clear out before I get to this road... They didn't clear out. See if that continues. Alright. That's just busy. That's a little bit backed up, but... Is it bad? No, not enough to worry about putting an extra road in. You have a dead body. Well, is there a... Anything on the way? There should be a... Yep, there it goes. Already cleared up. Alright. No more room. Go ahead and clear yourself out. Back to this. I have a feeling you're always going to be somewhat backed up, okay? It's just busy. Do I give them the same treatment that I gave... What road was that I gave? This one? No, you're already cleared up, so there's no reason to worry. Why are you guys backed up? What's going on here? Do you need a third lane? I can give you that third lane. Okay, cool. Yep, that's happier. Okay. That's a lot of dead bodies there. Where's your closest? That's why there's a lot of dead bodies. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that there. And pull this out. Alright. I think our traffic's doing well literally everywhere else. Police issues? That's fire station. Police. Police, police, police. Okay. So let's say we put a... I don't know how I feel about it right there, actually. Let's go ahead and say we don't do that. And we can put it, like, right there. That'll kind of service this area. Oh, and we're back to full high to Oh my goodness. I will never be able to win with industry, will I? Okay. This was a beautiful decision. I'm very happy with it. Let me put some trees back into its place. It's even got nice two trees inside of it. It works very well. Whether or not I add one in here is still up for possibility but I think I'm gonna let the city just run for a minute and um, do its thing
All right, and with that, we're gonna put this episode to a close. Um, very little work was done, but I, like I said, I want to make sure I get you guys a good video this week. I, I really do enjoy a lot of what we've done here. I was really concerned that I was gonna have to build a whole new interchange here, but thankfully, a roundabout in a very logical place. Honestly, this really does it makes a lot of sense for this placement, and a, a nice slip lane have really just revamped this area now the next part of worry is going to be how this is working itself out and i'm gonna see if i can like yeah i don't want to rush it i want to see if there's something else that's like a little bit more clever to play with kind of like what we've done here um and i do enjoy our industrial space over here in these exits i think these will be very vital for the way that this growth the growth of this neighborhood continues because who really wants to come and get off in an exit to come down to a major like that? I'm sure this has actually helped out this too. So with that, uh, I think in the next episode, we'll definitely see how this continues on. It might just stay for a while because it's not detrimental just yet. I might add some uh, three lane pieces of highway here to help with this because that's not that long of an exit anyway. Um, but I think it's time we go ahead and get to focusing on a little bit of this and preparing ourselves for our avenue that comes through and uh just yeah i mean i'm excited for how this is continuing to grow uh thank you guys so much for being here like comment subscribe let me know what you want to see in the city what, what really catches your interest the most um do you prefer the decorations or do you like when i kind of focus on these details in lane mathematics and uh intersection you know fidgeting really uh but yeah thanks for being here and i'll see you on the next one bye now